at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, and this thing caught my eye. This is called the Global Expedition Vehicles. Let's see who makes this. This is actually a international. Yeah, so the guys that used to make the old Scout Internationals, now they make these big old things. Look at this thing, it's huge. Look at the axles on this thing. Got camera on the front. Gotta have a winch. It even has a, a hitch for carrying gear up there. Big old bumper. It's got rhino lining on there too, LED lights. The cab is so big on this thing, they actually put a James Baroud pop-up tent, rooftop tent on top there. Ginormous tires. Huge. Look at that. Fuel tanks. I don't know how many gallons that is, but tons of diesel in there. Got a full-size door to get inside. They're not letting you go in, but you can climb up this ladder and take a look around. Let's take a look inside. Well, first off, this is cool how this thing pops, pops open on the side. So you can get a lot of uh, outdoor breeze coming into your little condo on wheels. There's your bed up there. Wow, this thing is nice. This is nicer than my condo I used to own. Got a TV, air condition. You got skylights. Looks like they pop open too so you can get on the roof. You got a little table here. Sit two people. Sink, cooktop, fridge, microwave. There's a bathroom to get a full size bathroom in there. That is awesome. And here's a cool part you have access to the driver area. That's really important. You know, you're out here doing your thing, camping, and then something comes up, you got to go. You could just run to the driver, the driver's seat, and get in and drive away. You don't have to jump out and then get back into the cab. Nice. Let's take a look at the back. Look at this. Oh, they got one of those hammock hammock things back here too. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I feel sorry for the guy that has to bring down this spare. Take the spare off this thing and it's going to crush you, man. That thing probably weighs 300 pounds. It's got to have a winch, I would assume. Look at that. It's got like a commercial grade um, HVAC system. <laughs> GlobalXVehicles.com. I don't know how much this thing costs, but I'm gonna guess it's at least a quarter of a million, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, maybe more. Very cool. So here's another Global Expedition Vehicles vehicle. It's a Ford Super Duty F550 Power Stroke Diesel. Look at the bumper on this thing, man. This is nuts. They got like a custom bumper on here. I don't know who makes this. They got their company cut into the front. Dual LEDs. Look at the fenders on this thing, man. Look at the size of the fenders on this thing. This <laughs> is some huge fenders. Those look like uh, military wheels on here. There's a lot of bolts. A lot of bolts. <laughs> LEDs. This is that monocoque design where it's all one solid piece for the most part. Crew cab, you can fit the whole family in here. And then let's take a look inside. Here we go. And a seal bed up there. TV is in there. It's cramped with another cramp. It seals it, and then this piece over here the same way. And then when you want to put it together, you put it together. Very nice. This part here I really like, how you can just open up and see the world right from your RV. Oh, look at this. Here's your uh, access panel for some extra gear back here and your spare. It also acts as an awning as well. So check this one out. Crew cab. And this thing is just like all their other humongous beasts of vehicles built like tanks look at that bumper that is nuts here's their uh, monocoque design RV camper let's take a look inside and see oh you can't go all the way in but you can kind of look around 
kind of peek around inside. Oh, okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, so you got tons of cabinet space here. And here's your... It's got a washer dryer and a dishwasher in it. Oh, it does. Right here in the back? This is the washer dryer. Go ahead and give me the full tour then, since I got you. Look at that, washer and dryer. It's inside. a combi, and nice. And normally I wouldn't be a combi guy, but this, the technology's caught up, so it works. It just takes forever, you yeah. know. To do a load of laundry and get them dry is probably an hour and a half. <laughs> hey, but at least you're getting it done, right? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> and the way you keep a woman happy on, in, like on a boat or here, mm -hmm. besides the obvious and alcohol, uh -huh. is uh, you give her a dishwasher. Oh, get out of here. So Look that she that. doesn't feel like a slave. Oh, my wife would love this. I dirty them and she cleans them and that's just not fair. <laughs> so this is. I've never seen a dishwasher right. in one of these before. That's awesome. That is cool. And then you obviously got a nice big TV there, sink, stove. Oh, yeah. Here's your, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have a Washer, refrigerator. Yeah, and freezer. And freezer. Nice. You have floor radiant heat. Oh, wow. So the, the. When you get up to pee, your feet are nice and happy. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. And then you got a full size bathroom in there with a shower, yeah, right? That's the whole, the whole that. deal. Oh, yes. Definitely. That's nice. Then you can actually sit. You can actually sit two people here if you wanted to. You can, to. and this makes it to a bed. That's a queen uh, size. So up you got there. you can sit the kids here, yeah. and then you got room for mom and dad up there. And there's lockers up there. Tons of space. Secret lockers. So this this design here, this is like one it's solid the, roof, right? It is one piece. One piece monocoque this is design. The first one of these that they built. This one and that one over there. The nice. UX fees. And uh, I don't know I. This just turned out huge. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> so One thing led to another, right? It's like, yeah. yeah, I slept on it and it grew. After being in the Marine Corps 22 years, I'm not camping out anymore. Yeah, you've done I your mean, time in the dirt. I love, I yeah. love snakes and scorpions. They just need to stay in their sleeping <laughs> bag and not mine anymore. You when, know? You, when, you were, when you were 19, yeah. that was fun. That was all yeah. cool. But you, you did your time. That's nice. Yeah, and the, you know, this is... Yeah. This, you know, I'm going to tear up the paint job by taking it through the trees, but that's just part of the But that's, that's part of the adventure, right? I'm going to yeah. get it wrapped. Uh -huh. They have a plastic product. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. think 3M makes it, but it's a, another company. It's heat sensitive, so mm -hmm. when you scratch it, you put a hair dryer on it. Or just oh, put kind it, of. Put it in the sun. Yeah. All the scratches go away. Nice, nice. And it's about a 10-year product, and you have to reapply it. It's still worth it. 10 years of, of scratching oh, yeah. it up. That's and it's nice. not that expensive. They quoted yeah. me about $1,500 to do the... Oh, half of this truck. I've seen wraps that were more than that. Yeah, so. that's not bad. I like how these things pop out, by the way. You I don't I don't have the big one. Uh -huh. I don't have the big wall. Those are, those are like five grand. I'm like, oh, well, really? I, I can do a hell of a lot more with five grand than a <laughs> <laughs> So look at this. This actually has a garage. Yeah. This RV has a garage. That's fantastic. He's got a, he's got a Yamaha TW200 with the fat tires. And if you're wondering how you get that thing down, there's not a ramp. You don't need a ramp. You have a winch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's got a built-in garage. I love it. Oh, look at that. He's got satellite. He's got a satellite TV in there too. See that white dome? All right, guys. So if you like this video, hit that like button to support my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Hit subscribe if you want to see what's next and leave a comment below.